Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net uh, Let me just type that in. This will also be in the description below. So getpaint.net And then um, where it says get it now, click on paint.net 4.0.19 or like whatever version And then click on download now And then free download now and then um, wait for it to install. I already have it installed, so I don't need it. And then in the description below, there's also going to be um, a link to all the plugins that you need to install for Paint on Net, along with a video on how to install Paint on Net plugins. So once you've installed like all the plugins for Paint on Net, um, you can open up Paint on Net, and then um, go to File, New, and then make the width a thousand. Actually, now make the width 800 and then make the height 800. Click OK. And then you should be left with like this white uh, canvas. So, what you want to do is you want to go to the magic wand tool right here. Left click on the white uh, square like that. And then press Ctrl X. And you should be left with the checkerboard, which tells you that it's transparent. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look for a wallpaper or like a background I want to use. I already have one that I'm planning on using, which is called Hyper Beast. So just search up Hyper Beast on uh, Google and then go to images. Uh, I recommend using like, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, whatever. But uh, use something like this. Um, if you want to like use the exact same wallpaper or something that I'm using right now. So I'm just going to right click this, copy the image that you uh, chose, go back to paint.net. And then make sure the background layer is selected and then press ctrl v and then uh, press keep canvas size if it's like too small or something and you can still see checkerboards um try to position it so if you hold shift and left click and then drag the corners if you drag it towards like the left or right depending on which side you are it'll make it smaller or uh bigger so if if i wanted to make it bigger i'll drag it like towards the outside like that and then uh, I'm going to position it like this. Yeah. And then once you're done like positioning it, you can uh, select, you can deselect it like that. And then what you want to do after is you want to add a new layer above your background. And then this is going to be your text. So I'm just going to choose the letter T. Uh, let's do this. Make the font bigger. And then uh, pick a font I'm going to use. I'm going to use something like uh, Gang of 3. Yeah. Uh, 500. That works. And then um, once you're done, it's like uh, choosing the font and stuff, go to your magic wand tool again. Make sure uh, layer 2 is selected or like your text. And then. Um, uh, make your primary color white like that or you can like just click white black in the palette right here and then what you want to do is you want to hold shift and left click on the text and then go to your gradient tool and then drag from the top of the text to the bottom like that and you should be left with uh this gradient let me do something like this actually and then once you're done like messing around with the gradient, you can deselect it. Go to effects, photo, and then uh, glow. Uh, I'm going to make the brightness something like negative 50. Press OK. And then uh, what you want to do is, oops. What you want to do is you want to get this texture. This texture will be in the description below, but uh, it's optional. So I'm just going to open up this texture that I'll be using. I'm going to press Ctrl C, go back to the profile picture, add a new layer above this, press Ctrl V, keep canvas size, and then like position it, uh, you're going to have to resize it again, position it like however you want, I don't think it matters, I'm going to deselect it, 
And then after that, go to the layer options or layer properties, and then change the mode to something like uh, glow, color dodge. I think color dodge works. And then you can duplicate it if you want to like see more of the layers, like the effects right here, the smoke. And then after that, go back to the background, press control shift U like that. And you should be able to like change the saturation. If not, go to adjustments and then um, hue slash saturation. And then uh, what you what you want to do is you want to lower the saturation all the way down to zero. Uh, probably the lightness too. I'm going to do something like negative 30. Press OK. And then what you want to do is add a new layer. And then get your brush tool. Make the hardness like 0%. Make the brush like really big. Like that, 500 works. And then uh, look for different colors you want to use. You can use one color, like blue. And then uh, I'm going to use like multiple colors for this, but like what you can do is you can just drag up. You can just do this, change the layer properties to like color dodge. Uh, that doesn't look good. Like you can change, you can make it a, a, a color burn. Um, you got to mess around with this. But like I'm just gonna do this and then uh, get another color I'm gonna do like red and then just do that and then probably green I'm gonna make that side green and then I'm gonna choose uh, orange like that and then you can go to the layer properties again and then uh, change the uh, blending mode to something like overlay or like color dodge you gotta play around with these settings, like, uh, overlay works, color dodge, overlay, I might just stick with overlay, so yeah, and then after that, um, you can blur the background, go to effects, blurs, and then I'm gonna do Gaussian blur, like that, probably, I'm gonna make this, this a two, um, and then um, I'm also gonna like outline the text again go back to the text layer which is my T go to effects object uh, drop shadow and then I'm gonna make this black like that bring down the blur radius bring up this okay I might need to bring up the blur radius again um, I might make I might make the drop shadow white no that looks bad I'm gonna leave it at black like that. Click OK, and then uh, I don't think I centered it yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Effects, Object Align, and then center both. So now it's perfectly in the middle. Actually, I don't like the drop shadow, so I'm just gonna redo this. Okay, so I messed up um, this part of the tutorial, so I'm just redoing it right now. So uh, what you want to do is you, um, your profile picture should look like this. And then what you want to do is you want to go to the layers with like all the colors. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to press control, control, shift U like that. And then lower the saturation a bit. You got to play around with it. Um, I think this looks pretty good right now like that. Press OK. Or what um, uh, you can also do this. Go to adjustments, hue slash saturation, and then change it like that. And then also in the description below, I'll also have like a template, which is like this color thing that I made myself. So you can use it like that. So uh, open it up and then press control C, go to the profile picture and then press control V like that. And then what you want to do is you want to press keep canvas size like that. And then if it's like too big or like too small, hold shift and then drag the corner so that it fits the profile picture. Uh, let's see. That's fine. And then deselect it. And then your profile picture should look like this or something like this. So uh, once you're done like uh, making the profile picture, uh, go to file, save as. And then uh, save it wherever you want on your desktop or computer. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna save it right here in my pictures. Uh, make sure, make sure the uh, you save it as a .png like that. 
aura.jpg. I recommend PNG, but it really doesn't matter. And then you can name it whatever you want. Um, Kimmy Kato Profile Picture. Yay. Save. Press OK. And then it'll say, would you like to flatten it? Uh, just flatten it like that. If you want to like unflatten it, just press Control Z like that. And then you have all the layers again. So uh, that's all I have to say. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want more tutorials, um, just tell me. And then I'll probably make more tutorials. So uh, I don't have anything else to say. So peace out.